Hello everyone, let us talk about worship. Worship is a way that we will give glory to our master because of what he has done to us. It's not because of what I have done to him. Worship is just like we humble ourselves and we acknowledge of what of all the goodness that he has given to us and we give it back to him the glory and honor. Worship is not about the singing, dancing, or how good we are, but how good He is to us, and that is worship. You know that God created human so that we can worship Him. In Genesis chapter 1, I would like to share to you this um, verse. Chapter 1, verse 26, it says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Let us try to observe this verse. God said, let us, it means the one who created the world, the universe, it's not only one, but there are more. And what's, that's what we call the Godhead, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in theology term, we call it Trinity. There is one God, but in three person. And they revealed themselves, if you want to read the, the Bible, you can we can find the work of the Trinity and even in us and even in our salvation. So worship is about it's a reflection of the, the, the work of the the Trinity. So that's why I said let us make in our image because God is spirit and our likeness. So no one can see God because He is spirit. So that's why He formed us to give us flesh so that in every good works in everything that we do it reflects to the father it reflects to the trinity it reflects to the son and the holy spirit what he has done so we can glorify him we can give them back the glory and the world would see god to our lives because we are the reflection of god but what happened because of the pride full of wisdom and the first one who, who were um, passed away was Lucifer because of his pride full of wisdom he's good and he wanted to become like God and God cast him away into the ground and now when God created man and again the serpent deceive the woman and two of them were also deceived that if they eat the tree of knowledge of good and evil they will become like God and they will become they will have wisdom and they will know what is right and wrong and they have pride and they have ego at that time God forbidden to eat of that tree because God said in Genesis chapter 2 they will surely die yes they ate it they die not physically but spiritually the glory of God was cut off they could not worship God because the spirit is not in them they could not bring back honor and glory but still God is gracious <clears throat> and he, he is still the one who gave us some solution first he gave the the first atonement to man like when he gave the the skin of an animals and God teach them how to worship God through atonement but still the fruit of Adam and Eve were so evil and even the first fruit of them Abel and Cain Abel was murdered by Cain it's because of his jealousy so you see that's the fruit of sin because there's no glory 
of God. It's totally separated from Him. So it's impossible for a man to worship God if you don't have the Spirit. So again, because our God is so gracious, He gave again uh, another solution. He gave the law of Moses. There are 611 laws of Moses. And two of the law is direct come from God. He said, You shall love the Lord your God in all your heart, in all your mind, and all your soul. Second is love your neighbor as love yourself. But still, no one did. They failed. Man failed by their own. Yes, before they, they can worship God, some become righteous and the Holy Spirit come upon them. And even uh, David in, in Psalms 51, he said, Lord, do not depart your Holy Spirit apart from me. Because the Holy Spirit will give us joy and it's the Holy Spirit will help us to worship our God. But still, our God is so gracious. He gave His one and only son and that is our lord jesus christ he came to this world to save us and his purpose that he came here so that he can glorify the father he was pure man when he's doing his ministry he's doing his ministry for three and a half years and he's pure human he can feel what we can feel when we're hungry he's also hungry same it's the same like us we have fear but the Lord is so perfect because He abides always to His Father and the Holy Spirit is in Him. And for that reason, anyone want to see the Father, because Father is Spirit, if you see Jesus Christ, you can see the Father. If you want to see God, you need to see Jesus Christ. We can see the Father, we can see God, we can see the Trinity. That's why he fulfilled the law. And he and he paid his blood for our sin. So that whoever believe and accept our Jesus Christ will have new spirit, will have new life. And if we believe in him, it seems like we fulfill the law. So when the Father sees us, when we worship God, it's no longer you, but it's Jesus Christ who is in us because we believe in Him. So when we believe our Lord Jesus Christ, He gives us a new spirit. That is the third person, the Holy Spirit who is living in us. Because before, we could not worship God because of our sin and the human is full of pride. There's a pride of life. That's why in Isaiah 59, 1 to Isaiah said, the hands of the Lord is not too short to save us, or his ears that too dull that he could not hear us, but because of our iniquities that separates us from God, so that so he could not hear us. Because all what we did, the human nature is evil in the sight of God. There's nothing that we can do. That's why our Lord Jesus Christ came by the love of the Father and the grace of Lord Jesus Christ. When we believe in Him, He gave us a new life. And He gave us a new spirit who is helping us to worship our God. So in, uh, in John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24, it says, But the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him imagine the god of father is seeking for a worshiper a true worshiper god is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth if we don't have christ it's impossible for us to worship because we don't have spirit we don't have the glory of god that's why in romans chapter 3 uh romans 3 23 it says for all have seen and fall short of the glory of God and we could not glorify him because we are disconnected to him there's no glory from God who come to us and all we did is evil pride of life 
lying to each other, the jealous, adultery, and all the sins that we did. But praise God because of our Lord Jesus Christ, who saved us by grace through our faith. In, in, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, 9, and 10, it says, For by grace you have been saved. It's not by our work because we cannot do. We are full sharp of the glory of God. For, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that's not yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. In 10, it says, For we are his workmanship created in Christ. What does this mean is work? We are the masterpiece of Christ. He died for us. We are so precious because He loves us with His grace. Created us in Christ Jesus for good works. It not says to do good work but for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Because by Adam Satan took away the glory. That's why Man could not glorify God. But now, because of our Lord Jesus Christ, He created in Christ Jesus for good works. So that when we believe our Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, then there's a new life will come to us. There's spirit to come to us. And we can do good works. And that works, it's not about us, but it's about of our Lord Jesus Christ. All that we can do in our lives we always point to the cross. We always point to the blood of Lord Jesus Christ who died for us. Because away from God, it's impossible for us to worship God. That's why we need Him. We need to believe our Lord Jesus Christ so that we can have the Holy Spirit, the, whole, the Holy Spirit, the third person in the Trinity, the Helper who help us let's go back to John 4 24 so at God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth what does it mean so when we worship to God we need the spirit then the Holy Spirit is already in us so what we should do is we should humble ourselves we need to take away all the pride of our lives and our life the pride of life we need to acknowledge the work of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross that He paid His blood for our sin. And because of what He did, we have new life. He is the Son of God. He was resurrected together with Him. And the power of death, it's not upon them now, but we have a new life. The Holy Spirit who is living in us. So that's why we need the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will help us to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. So we need to surrender to the Holy Spirit. We need to give our lives to the Holy Spirit. Everything that we have, our pride, everything in us. You should acknowledge everything that I have. It's because of our God, because of the Trinity, because of the Holy Spirit. So we entrust to Him and the Holy Spirit will help us. And Jesus Christ will become the center, will become our Lord in our lives. And then when Jesus Christ will be the center in our lives, and then we can worship our God, the truth, spirit and truth. We need the spirit, we need the Holy Spirit, and we need God to glorify the Father. So when we have our Lord Jesus Christ, when we have the Holy Spirit, we can worship to the Father. So worship, it's not about singing it's not about dancing, it's not about playing instrument, how good you are, but because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. He gave us new life and the Holy Spirit is in us. And worship is our life. It's our daily. It's our worship to God. He's our partner that we should walk in them. We should walk in the Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will lead us so that we can worship always to the Father. So when we do this, our life becomes meaningful. We have joy. We have peace. We have faithfulness in life. We will become committed to Him. I tell you, we cannot change our own lives, our life, and even the life of others. But it's only by trusting and giving, surrendering 
to the Holy Spirit or God and the Trinity will be will will help us to mold us so I hope everyone um, uh, bless and I hope that God will let's continue to worship him and wherever you are if you see this video I hope that you will glorify our God Father God in heaven thank you so much Lord for your love and mercy that you've given to us and even the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ thank you Lord Jesus for paying our sin through your blood on the cross thank you Lord for give, uh, giving us the new life giving us the Holy Spirit the new spirit in us oh Holy Spirit teach us of oh God to know you more and help us of oh God that we will we will always humble ourselves before you teach us of oh God that we will that Jesus Christ will always be glorified in our lives so that we can worship our God thank you so much Lord for what you have done and I pray for people who are listening this video bless them oh God give them strength and even those people who doesn't have yet relationship with you I declare in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that if you believe they will believe you Lord Jesus Christ will give them the life the eternal life that you promised to us so we entrust to you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ amen and amen God bless everyone